Mike Tannenbaum. Deshaun Watson played in only six games last year for the Browns. Can he get back to the Pro Bowl level at which he once played? No, Graz, that's a hard no. We haven't seen him play productive football since 2020, and I'm hard-pressed to remember the last time a frontline quarterback went four years between playing really well and getting back to that level. Let's keep this in mind, guys. He's played a t total of 12 games as a Cleveland Brown. This is a team that went to the playoffs on the strength of their defense, not their quarterback. Harry, uh, the defense is good. The rest of the roster in Cleveland is really good uh, around Deshaun Watson. Is their defense good enough to carry the offense again this year? Yes, but you don't want that if you're Kevin Stefanski. Because we've seen in the playoff game versus the Houston Texans, that defense get carved up. Now, I think defensively, Jim Swartz, uh, they had a drastic change in their production. They were first in total defense, they were first in pass defense, and also first in third down defense. But I think now in year two, let's not be so vanilla. Let's try to switch things up a little bit. I love the way that they move, you know, their premier pass rusher around, Miles Garrett, to get him matched up on different people in the weakest link of, of the offensive line that they were playing against. But I think when you look at this team, they were hit by the injury bug last year. You had their two tackles, Jedrick Wills Jr. and also Jack Conklin out, Nick Chubb out, Deshaun Watson out. You're getting all those guys back, but Deshaun Watson has to be able to be uh, a hold up his weight, uh, uh, his end of the bargain for the Cleveland Browns to be able to be successful. All right, heading down to the Southern. Okay, so the fact that he says it's a hard no that Deshaun Watson can't come back to Pro Bowl form is insane to me. If you want to say, will he make a Pro Bowl? That's maybe a little, and I could understand no because there's just so many good quarterbacks right now, and that Watson, especially in terms of just his reputation, will kind of, you know, hold him back a little bit. Not not a little bit, a lot of it. Um, but I understand that he hasn't played that that great of football in a long time. But when you look at the reasons why, we could understand why right like we could see that it was injury it was time away that he never was able to get that momentum going and then he was playing injured it was also like he got he was obviously suspended and then it was like him entering a difficult situation like it's just he was set up to fail in a lot of ways both his own doing and also just the universe's doing of like injury and stuff right but this idea that he's just like can't do it it's like bizarre to me because they'll say Russell Wilson can return to form playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who's a lot older, and now Deshaun Watson can't? Like, it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, unless Watson really is injured in a way that he just can't do what he's been able to do, that's a different story. I'm not under the impression that that's what it is. And other people want to now take shots at him, Deshaun Watson, because they want to say that, you know, oh, he's mentally weak and this and that, and that's why, you know, he can't handle it, yada, yada, yada. I disagree with that 100%. I think he wants it. He wants to redeem himself. He wants to win. He's a competitor. He wants to be the best that he can be. And I think combined with Kevin Stefanski, that's going to set him up now that he actually should have legitimate continuity and understanding with Stefanski, who I think is a great offensive mind and a great coach. I don't see why Deshaun Watson wouldn't be able to return to form. He wouldn't be able to thrive with Stefanski. I just I, I just don't understand why why we would be so quick to say no to that. It just doesn't make sense to me. It really, really doesn't. So I, I think they'll be able to speak the same language. I think I get like I said, as long as Watson is actually healthy, then there can be some legitimate, good to great, consistent play with Watson and that offense and they will be able to kind of utilize the defense get extra possessions get good field positions and I think that that will really benefit Watson because we were able to see what he was able to do in a less than ideal situation with less than ideal coaching and he was able to thrive and he was able to ball out and have a lot of success I get it he was younger technically healthier and all of that but it's not like the NFL has passed him by I know it's been a handful of years but it's not like the NFL has passed him by. It's one thing that the NFL went through this like whole revolution of a change. And it's just like he was away 
and and you know in i don't even know in china for years and was like his eyes were closed and his and his you know his ears were covered and he just couldn't he just had no idea he had to like relearn how to play in the nfl then i'd be like yeah okay you know the nfl has changed back when he played there was a different sport they ran the ball more like but that's not the case obviously that's a silly dumb example because that's what they're acting like they're acting like that this young on the younger side quarterback suddenly just lost the ability to play football like why would why does that make more sense that he just suddenly lost the ability to play football at a high level? It's not like he was on a stacked team, and the only reason why he was playing good was because he was on a stacked team, or he had a goat coach like an Andy Reid who was able to just like get the maximum out of him. And so now that he's on a different spot, like they're acting almost like he's like it's kind of like a Jimmy Garoppolo situation. That's not the situation here. So again, I get you don't like him as a person. I get it. But to just say that it's a hard no, that there's zero chance that he can return to form, I'm just not seeing the evidence for that. And then they went and said, well, we've never seen blah, 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 blah. It's because everyone is in a situation for different reasons. Some of those players have not been able to return to form because of injury, because of age, because they then go to a different team with a different coach, with a, with a bad roster, whatever it may be. That's not the situation with um, Watson and the Cleveland Browns. So I just take issue more than anything with this hard no. That is what I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense. And you didn't even give actual reasons. I hate when people just say, when they say no, yes or no to something. And then they just use historical evidence. They use, you know, as, as like to, to prove their point, especially when it's not the same player. It's one thing if you want to like reference Watson and say, and use his history maybe as a reference point. I can understand that, but you want to use like the history of like other players. Well, they're not Deshaun Watson. It's not the modern day football. Like it's, it's, it's just completely different situation. So to say just because, well, historically, we've never seen a player do that. That always falls on deaf ears to me because that means absolutely positively nothing, 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 nothing. It doesn't make any sense. So I, it's just to me, that's just kind of uh, lazy analysis. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Deshaun Watson can return to form and be a pro bowler this season? And do you think the defense is good enough to carry the team for the Cleveland Browns? And does it need to be good enough with Watson hopefully 100% healthy and being able to play? Let me know in the comments below. I read all the comments. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really, really does help with the visibility in the algorithm, and it definitely helps fight trolls because a lot of people just want to give a thumbs down because they just want to hate. So every thumbs up really does help. Thank you so much and see you next time.